Alex Jones's defama- defamation trial is going on right now. Of course, the Sandy Hook parents who just, I can't, when I think about this each time, I could get simultaneously completely broken up in tears and also incredibly angry. They had their kids get killed in a school shooting. And then Alex Jones for years began calling them crisis actors and concocting this whole conspiracy theory around the fact that this was a faked, not faked school, yeah, faked school shooting um, where they were somehow in cahoots with the deep state and all these people to try to put on a fake school shooting for some political outcome that they were looking for. And he demonized these parents over and over, calling them crisis actors, and led to many of them getting harassed by his followers to the point where they had to move multiple times. Just an absolute horrible multiple years after one of the most tragic events you could you could have. If you get your kids murdered in a school shooting, you're going to have a devastating next few years and, and rest of your life that's going to be in your heart in a really, uh, you know, devastating way. But then to add on top of that, one of the largest conspiracy theorists or maybe the largest conspiracy theorist with a massive audience demonizing you and causing his followers to go and harass you is unbelievable. So they are now, you know, bringing a defamation suit against him. And that is all going on right now. We have a few moments from it. But the first one I want to look at is just an amazing amazing statement from one of the mothers of these kids so just think about this again one more time and we're gonna watch this clip it's so powerful you're a mother and your child dies and then this guy who's super well known is going out and saying that your child's life wasn't real or or, or, or their, their death wasn't real and that your pain is not real and your experience is not real and you're not a mother who actually just lost their child so she looks at him. You can't see it's, it'll only stay on her, but later we'll see some clips of him. So you'll get context, but just picture he's sitting right there in the courtroom and she's looking right at him and just bravely with so much courage and communicates this so well explains to him that she is a real mother and horrible things happen in the world. And the response to that should be to try to prevent them and not to con- concoct narratives to say they didn't really happen. So let's watch this. So powerful. Your son, Jesse Lewis, how does it make you feel being able to come in today and tell him his face? Right here. Okay, so you you did get a shot of Alex Jones. She's talking to his face. Imagine staring at the man who's been demonizing you for all this time. And she's about to say the statement I was speaking of. Your story. I wanted to tell you to your face because I wanted you to know that I am a mother first and foremost. And I know that you're a father. And my son existed. You're still on your show today trying to say that I'm uh, implying that I'm an actress, that I'm deep state. You have this week. He's still going on about this. And I don't understand. Truth, truth is so vital to our world. Truth is what we base our reality on. And we have to agree on that to have a civil society. Sandy Hook is a hard truth, hard truth. Nobody would want to ever believe that 26 kids could be murdered. Nobody would ever want to believe that. I understand people not wanting to believe that, actually. I don't want to believe it. And how empathetic is she that... As she's sitting here with everything that's been done to her and the experiences that she's had to go through over the last number of years to still find in her heart understanding towards people who would rather believe a crazy conspiracy than have to contend with the fact that there are these devastating, horrible truths in the world, such as her child being murdered. But I've since that day dedicated my life to keeping kids safe it's our responsibility i used to think it was the school's responsibility it's actually our responsibility and i've dedicated my life to that and having a quarter of americans doubt that sandy hook happened or doubt the facts that is heartbreaking around sandy hook is not conducive to keeping our kids safe it's not 
And it's our responsibility to keep our kids safe. This happened almost 10 years ago. We've had over 350 school shootings since then. We have to keep our kids safe. Jesse was real. I am a real mom. <laughs> oh, I am a real mom. That's... Apologies, guys. That is powerful. I mean, to look in the face of the person who spread these lies about you and say that phrase, I'm a real mom, Jesse was real, um, and the pain and suffering that was caused on that day was real. Absolutely heartbreaking. And But then also inspiring to watch a mother not do what I would do if that happened to me, which is curl up in a ball and never want to go outside and never be able to uh, do anything as brave as what she's doing right now. It's so, so amazing, so incredible on her part and unbelievable that Alex Jones would not be like, okay, I was thinking about this. We're about to look at, that's the last kind of, you know, testimony or something we're looking at, but we are going to look at a couple moments of just Alex Jones being Alex Jones in the courtroom, not taking this seriously, pretending to like almost get in fights with people or, or uh, verbally kind of getting these heated exchanges. And the point I wanted to make around it was, you know, on one side, you have the parents who are probably probably taking everything on their part to be there and replay these events in their head and all of those things. And then on the other side, you have Alex Jones, who is claiming this is a witch hunt, claiming his free speech is being violated, claiming all of this is nonsense and, and not taking it seriously. And I was just thinking when kind of reflecting on that, like how vile of a human being, how uh, truly void of empathy do you have to be? to see all of this look in the face of these people that you've caused so much more pain than they already were going to have to experience and not be on your knees just in tears apologizing and wanting to do everything to make their lives better no instead his response is to fight it with every you know resource that he has still as she was saying spread lies about them claim it's a witch hunt all those things um so one of those moments is just so you know, unbelievable and insulting is he gets in a heated exchange with one of the, uh, or, or the, one of the lawyers of the parents in this. It's hard to hear what he's saying, but for our viewers, it'll be a little bit of an interesting exchange. And then slow No, I'm slow enough, sir. Yeah, I'm slow enough, sir. So that's when you know it gets real heated. Uh, whatever they're saying starts escalating, and then Alex Jones is following after the lawyer, trying to get oh in his face. He's saying you can't feed them fake videos anymore. He's still he's telling these lies. Okay, so he, oh no, Alex Jones is the victim. His freedom of speech is being, uh, you know, violated and don't talk to me like that. Oh, it's just unbelievable. I mean, he should be just completely, as I said, completely completely remorseful but no he's not one more moment again just he's not taking it serious and that's what is further uh insulting even though i feel like he's maxed out maxed out the insulting barometer but here's a moment where the judge asks him to stop chewing gum and apparently he's not chewing gum from his perspective or you know his claim is he's not chewing gum it's a hole in his mouth from a tooth procedure he had that he's kind of like playing with um, that looks like he's chewing gum and he gets in an exchange where he's kind of trying to be silly with the judge in this very, very serious time. I, I've been told that there it goes on and uh, he says that he's sorry and we'd ask that the entire party. Spit your gum out, Mr. Jones. It's not gum. Well, what is it? Because you're not allowed food or gum of any kind in the courtroom. <coughs> I, I, I had my tooth pulled. Uh, a week and a half ago, and it's I, have, I had some gauze in there earlier, and it's it's been causing me to have some pain. So you're chewing on your gauze? Would you like me to show you? No, right I here? just want you to answer my question. No, I, I, I was massaging the hole in my mouth with my tongue. Okay, right here. 
Huh? I don't want to see hey. the inside of your mouth. Oh, no, 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 no. Hole. So he's a, he's a child. I mean, he's, oh, look, look, you can look at my mouth. There's no gum. Uh, uh, as they're sitting in a proceeding trying to decide if he defamed these parents, which obviously he did, being completely unaware or uh, purposefully unaware of the significance, sig- significance and weight of this trial um, and not giving it the respect that it deserves and the parents the respect that they deserve. So really, really horrible human being. And I hope that the parents of of the Sandy Sandy Hook shooting win in this defamation case. Absolutely.